I know for people's sake that people speaking about suicide will not actually do it, but that's a myth. The research shows that persons, before they actually contemplate suicide or actually do something to harm themselves, they would speak about this, they would um, drop him, they would let persons know that, oh, you know, I'm going to die, I'm going to take my life, I know you won't miss me. They say things like that just to probably get a reaction, yes, but it is for their loved ones or anyone who is um, listening to them to pay attention and to actually take the time to find out what's going on. When persons have totally given up, that they are at the point now where they no longer think of any other option, it's likely that they will go through with it. The research has also shown that persons who attempt suicide and probably succeed in the end will be persons who have done it multiple times. So take, for instance, if somebody is saying, I'm going to harm myself today, and you ask them, you start engaging them in a conversation, where now? When are you going to do it? And they say, you know what, I'm going to do it 7 p.m. tonight. So where do you live? Do you live alone? Or I live with my whole family, for instance, an extended family. So who is at home at 7? Everybody. Chances are you're hearing that plan, but it's not really foolproof because at the end of the day, if you try to hurt yourself at 7, it's likely somebody will see you and they are going to also try to help or to stop you from what you're doing. So when you think of the plan, you want to hear whether or not they have thought about the best time that will allow for them to be alone. You want to know whether they have access to whatever weapon of choice. So let's say they're going to use, you know, let's be far-fetched that they say I'm going to put a, a, a gun to my head. Do you own a gun? No. I'm going to hang myself. Do you have rope? Do you have, are you living on a very high building? Where do you plan to do this? And if the plan is such that they have access to whatever they say they're, they're going to use, then you want to take it seriously as well. Depression, generalized anxiety, um, if persons also suffer from some psychosis, um, schizophrenia, where persons sometimes are hallucinating, they're hearing voices, they may tend to lean towards harming themselves as well if the voices within their head is um, directing them to do so. Generally, we see suicide being attached to or closely related to depression. Persons who contemplate suicide have an overwhelming sadness. They might feel some level of worthlessness in their own life, um, elements of shame, guilt for different reasons. They see their life as not being worth living. They um, see themselves sometimes as a burden to others. Um, sometimes you would have seen where persons attempted suicide also as an attention-seeking behavior, which in itself is a call for help because if somebody begins to actually do things to hurt themselves just for attention, then you have to look closer to figure out what would have been the underlying cause. All right, and it is a matter that anyone who is thinking that their situation is so grave or dire, that you feel that suicide is your option, I would suggest speak to someone, get help. There are counselors available in the Ministry of Health, um, mental health at the hospital as well. Um, there are counselors within the school system, you can go to Marian House, you can go to National Mobilization. There are many different options. If it is that you don't want to go that well, there's also the fact that you can speak to a pastor or any trusted friend. But know that help is available, and it's really important that persons access the help before you know they get to the point as they say of no return.